Well, here it is. Came about 31 pounds. Two boxes. This is the main box I had open. Extra battery and a high speed 64 gig card. So now I got three batteries. Okay. Here's the box. It's fairly heavy. And it has, it's a nice box. It's got wheels on it. And you got a, uh, you got a, oh, yeah, but there it is, cart. Alright, slow that over. Got a locking latches on it. There should be a set of keys in here. And you get all your instructions. User manual. Warnings. The usual warnings. And two sets of props. Got the screw threads on. Yeah, let's see what we got here. This looks like sunshade. It was on a transmitter. It's still taped. I'm not going to force it open. Box of accessories. We're reaching for the stars of second. This is for tightening the props on the motors. And hmm. I guess that's transmitter hanger and USB, regular USB to mini. That's probably for redoing the firmware. And this looks like, not sure, some kind of charger or something. There's the keys. This is an adapter if you could charge it up with a IMAX charger, like a jumper cable for the battery. Okay. Now we'll move that aside. And here's the cop, they're all packed up in there. Wow. Good size. It's got a little safety thing on here. These are my people. These are the ones. There we go. That's for shipping, I guess, to touch the camera for banging. There's the copter. It's got a protective cover on it. USB card goes down underneath there. Okay. Two more batteries. One. So you get three batteries. Nice. We should get 25 to 27 minutes on each. Then you got a battery charger. Balance charger goes through the balance cord. Okay. And that's the transformer for the charger. 5 amps, 12 volt, 5 amp. Okay. And what else we got here? This here is a wall charger and there's a cord in here. I think it's yeah, 12 volt for a car to charge a transmitter or something and uh, at least charge a transmitter. And 
USB charge. This is the transformer wall plug. And now there's a transmitter. And I get a protective. Since I read the manual, okay. Turn it on. This switch is for taking uh, pictures. This one's for taking movies. This one here is a speed. S speed control, fast, slow. And there's something here. That's the raise and lower the camera. Up and down. Straight down to straight ahead. And then you get all the functions. It's looking for the camera, but it, you know I haven't got it turned on. But uh, it's got flight settings, system settings, mode, select. You want to go full screen? Let's see if I tap it twice. Yeah. That go. You can't see anything because the camera's not on, but it goes full screen. Tap it back again. And then it, back to the GPS mode, satellite position, volts on the battery, altitude, miles per hour distance okay so as you're flying you could set uh, and this here is uh, the smart switch all the way up for starting off takeoffs and landings and all that then standard you got control of it and that's return to home all the way down and this here will start the copter when you're ready to take off these switches here, they're probably something future for trim, but they're not used. Okay. And that's it. You can see this online anyway if you go online, but I'm just doing a... Whoops, I just saw a picture on there. I don't know why. But nice set. And your battery compartment. It's got a LiPo built in, a LiPo battery. Okay, uh, dig a little deeper and uh, this here is a setup for the gimbal which will slip on here and hang here with a camera. And then you put your Android tablet there and you can walk around with a gimbal filming on land and you should get some real beautiful stable free movies with it you know and I guess this here you can adjust manually to tilt on it horizontal, horizontal or whatever set it and that's it I pretty well went over everything here I should cover it